Hey guys, today I'm going to walk through the steps on how to check the head gasket without taking the um, the head off the engine. Um, recently went on a trip and when I got back the next day, turned the car on, the coolant light was low. And um, I've had the car for about two years now and um, I have put coolant in it once before. Uh, or check the coolant, I should say. And so uh, I'm not sure if uh, coolant is leaking into the engine or if it's just evaporated over time. So I recently watched a Chris Fix video on YouTube, and that was very insightful. Um, and uh, one of the things they talked about was coolant can leak into the engine if there's a break or a rupture in the um, manifold uh, head gasket. So we'll uh, run through the steps. Um, there's a tester that I, I purchased and we'll walk through that and see if we can determine. Um, I haven't seen any other symptoms. No white smoke out of the exhaust. Um, I did the oil change not too long ago. Didn't see any you know, contaminant there. The oil looked fine coming out. So, but just wanna check, double make sure. Um, there's no issues with the coolant linking into the uh, engine all right so I swung by advanced auto parts and picked up one of these uh, kits um, Lisley is about 50 bucks and comes with the, the uh, apparatus here comes with the fluid and the hose and the connectors so uh, basically blue liquid comes in here or you pour that in here and if exhaust is leaking into the coolant um, it will change the, the liquid to yellow. So we're going to follow the instructions on the kit and give it a shot and see uh, if we have uh, any issues with the head gasket. All right, so the instructions say to siphon out um, any coolant to ensure that it does not come up into the vacuum tube. So that's where we're going to put the filler fluid in. So I've already used my hand pump to siphon out some of the antifreeze that I put in there. Um, and so we're gonna take the cap back off and um, follow the instructions. We'll put this on top, fill the liquid in there, and uh, we'll go from there. Be right back. All right, the instructions say to let the car warm up for 10 minutes before you do the test. So I'll be back in 10 minutes once we've hit that and we'll resume. All right, it's been a little over 10 minutes. The engine should be warm. The next step say fill the apparatus to the line with the blue solution. Uh, do not sit it on top of the radiator cap yet. Plug in the top of the apparatus along with the vacuum hose. And again, I'm just gonna use my hand pump to do the vacuum part. You could connect it to one of the connectors here on the car itself. Um, so I'll be right back. We'll fill this up with blue, put the cap on, and go from there. All right, we've got the blue liquid in the apparatus connected to the hose and the other end to the hand pump. And we're going to put it down into the opening of the reservoir for the coolant. And then we'll start the pump and we'll watch the blue liquid. If it turns to yellow, that is a sign that there's a blown head gasket or a head gasket that has a gap allowing coolant or combustion exhaust into both compartments. So um, let's give it a shot and we'll pump. It says pump for two minutes to see if it turns yellow. All right, it's been over two minutes I've been pumping and the good news is we're still very blue. So that's a good sign that the head gasket is fully intact. So We'll just assume that uh, I was low on coolant and we'll uh, top that off. Should be good to go. All right, I got the car back off and now we're gonna put some coolant antifreeze in there. And you'll notice um, a couple of things. It does say G12. I did look online and most of the recommendations say stick with the Audi brand coolant so i've never deviated from that there's also a minimum fill line and a max fill line so we're gonna go ahead and put some more in there um this is the coolant that i bought 
coolant um, from Audi. I got it online. Don't remember where, maybe Amazon or one of the other car parts places. That's probably the best deal. All right, I've put my coolant in there and you can see I'm in between the min and the max. And so we'll put the cap back on. We should be all set. So again, cheaper to do some of this stuff yourself and uh, save a lot of money. Um, hope uh, you don't have this issue uh, or have a head gasket issue, I should say. And um, anyway, that's all for now. Good luck with your car.